Hello, this is Matre here to talk to you about my favorite subject, opera. Why is it my favorite subject, you ask? Well, over the years, opera has actually influenced a lot of pop music. For example, does the song you just heard sound familiar? Does it make you think of a horse race? You recognize this song because it's the theme song to a popular TV series from the 1950s called The Lone Ranger. But did you know that it originally comes from the overture to an opera called William Tell by Rossini? For years, opera has infiltrated other genres. Wabbitwax. Kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit. Kill the wabbit. That's what I'm here to talk about today. Popra. Popra is considered by some to be a subgenre of opera, but if you ask an opera singer that, they may not agree. In any case, singers like Andrea Bocelli, Josh Groban, Charlotte Church, Sarah Brightman, Catherine Jenkins, and several others have taken on the art form. Whenever opera and popular music cross over in any capacity, I personally like to call it popera to make things easier. Popera can occur in a few ways. One, a pop singer or musical theater singer sings an operatic piece. Two, an opera singer sings a pop or musical theater piece. I feel pretty, oh so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and bright. And I pity any girl who is me tonight. Or three, a weird combination of the two occurs. For instance, the musical theater singer Audra McDonald, who by the way has won six Tonys, was classically trained in opera at Juilliard. So, when she sings Summertime from Gershwin's opera, Porgy and Bess, is she a musical theater singer singing an operatic piece or an opera singer singing a popular piece? We also have this problem when describing singers like Christian Chenoweth and Kelly O'Hara, who are secretly classically trained as well. And if you thought the summertime drama was over with that, Singers like Billie Holiday and Ella Fitzgerald have released pop versions of Summertime, so it's hard to even say what genre it even falls into anymore. Confused? Me too. But that's just a testament to the crazy genre that encompasses popra. Now, go listen to some cool examples and show off to your friends about the cool new word you learned. And remember, when in doubt, the Phantom of the Opera is a musical, not an opera. See you next time!